Japan is an area that's no stranger to earthquakes, but this is the strongest quake that they've seen in recorded history. It's an area that's littered with fault zones, got tectonic plates intersecting all over the place. Let me show you where this quake was, uh, just on the northeast coastline of Japan, where the North American plate intersects with the Pacific plate. The Pacific plate actually driving to the west at about 92 millimeters per year. All these orange dots, those are big aftershocks, dozens of them. All right, let's show you graphically what happens when these plates intersect. You get what's called subduction, one plate driving down underneath another, and that creates friction right in here. And eventually, when the friction and the stresses are built up enough, this will pop. And when that ocean floor pops like that, you get a wave that, that happens at the surface. And that wave propagates outward and can travel up up to 500 miles per hour in the open sea. If you're a boat out there, you barely feel it. We've got buoys that, that sense these things, but as it approaches the coastline, the bottom floor, the bathymetry, will force that water up, slow it down, and drive it inland. And even though these, uh, these uh, waves can only be sometimes five to 10 to 15 feet high, they have a lot of weight, a lot of force behind them. Let's show you uh, exactly how much energy was released with this. Here's Japan, everything that you see in red is where the water, the wave was about four to five feet getting into Japan or into Hawaii and all the way onto the west coast and down across South America. This is a huge historic quake that literally affected an entire hemisphere.